Welcome to Notting Fair Avenue. Over here, there is a revolutionary product called the Auto Power Builder. When planted, it builds, maintains, and powers all the houses in the neighborhood. This could be purchased by Company A, B, C, D, and E. Although these companies sell the same product, competition was driven by healthy rivalry and innovation. Company A wanted faster profit. He bought over companies B and C, taking over their customer base and making them hold more than 60% of the market share. Initially, things were fine, but Company A became greedy. They resorted to abusing their dominance. To gain more customers, Company A used personal direct selling from door to door, convincing customers that it's better to go for the dominant seller, which is known as exclusive dealing. Soon, more and more customers prefer the dominant company, leaving their previous sellers. Company A was however still unsatisfied. He wanted to remove all his competitors by using predatory pricing. With his large customer base, he decreased the price to an extreme low. The other companies could not possibly compete without suffering losses. Losing their customers completely, companies D and E had to close down. Company A was expanding rapidly, but he wanted more profit still. He then decided to increase the price to a ridiculous high. As there are no other sellers of this product, customers lost their bargaining power. They had no choice but to buy this product at the high price. Quality of their product fell, causing their house to be unstable. Customers were food. A lot had complained to Company A, but instead of giving customers complimentary maintenance, Company A demanded customers to purchase a two-year mandatory maintenance package with the purchase of their product. This discount scheme squeezed out all the money from the customers as it was not economically friendly. The former competitors along with the customers could not handle this abuse of dominance anymore. After much research, they found Competition Commission of Singapore CCS, and filed a complaint. CCS then exercised their investigation power on Company A and found that the act has been infringed by Company A. Company A was imposed with financial penalties and ordered to stop and modify his business activity and conduct. Companies D and E was back in business and regained their loyal customers, making sure they received fair deals and only the best. The two companies practiced healthy library and innovation. And as for Company A,